After two and a half years of construction, the intermodal terminal Bedenburg Dudelange became fully operational on June 19, 2017. Its greatest advantage is its geographic position and its proximity to major transportation infrastructures. Bedenburg is at the heart of Europe and the terminal is directly located at the crossroad of important highway routes, right next to the International Marshalling Yard and the Eurohub South Logistics Park. Next to the administrative buildings, home to the CFL multimodal teams as well as a Luxembourg customs office, is the parking for semi-trailers with an 840 truck capacity. In front of you, you see the combined terminal with four railway tracks of 700 meters each and a storage capacity of 2,250 containers. Currently, an average of five full trains per day are processed here. Next to the combined terminal, you see the two rail motorway platforms that make it possible to load semi-trailers horizontally and to transport non-craneable trailers, meaning semi-trailers that cannot be lifted by spreaders. This terminal reflects the government's objective to develop the logistics sector in Luxembourg. Discover the terminal operations and its high-tech infrastructure. The photo gate. When arriving on the site, each truck is photographed about 10 times for safety and control reasons. The number plates are registered and the condition of the containers and semi-trailers is visually documented to guarantee the traceability of the equipment. The entrance gate. The purpose of the entrance gate is the control and administrative registration of the trucks entering the terminal. The drivers check in at a manned counter or an electronic kiosk. Transport documents and booking numbers are controlled here. All drivers must have a badge with their personal data, created the first time they come to the terminal. The gauge control gate. Only trucks with cargo have to pass through this gate. Tractors without a shipment do not need to pass through here. The gauge control gate is where the physical control of the ITU, intermodal transport unit, meaning container, swap body or semi-trailer, takes place. To be loaded on a train, the ITU has to conform to a specific weight, height, width and length. These measurements are called the gauge. At the gauge control gate, the weight and gauge of the ITU are checked. The seal number is registered and controlled in order to guarantee the integrity of the shipment. The last step is the inspection of the different components of the ITU, such as the tarps, to ensure safe transport by train. After successful completion of these steps, the driver will continue either to the portal cranes of the combined terminal or to the two rail motorway platforms. The rail motorway platforms. The rail motorway is characterized by a specific technology that allows the loading of non-craneable semi-trailers. Special rail wagons were developed for this purpose. Each wagon has two spaces, called pockets, that can pivot by 30 degrees thanks to a hydraulic device located in the rail track. This makes it possible for the terminal tractors to load the semi-trailers on the wagon. The Bedenburg Duda Launch Intermodal Terminal has two rail motorway platforms of 700 meters, which represents 40 semi-trailers on 20 wagons per train. It is possible to handle up to 16 trains per day. The advantages of the rail motorway are clear, especially for long-distance transports. Transport time. It takes 14 hours to cover the 1,050-kilometer distance between Bedenburg and Le Boulou at the French-Spanish border. Respect for the environment. Rail transport emits 85% less CO2 than road transport. Economic performance. Authorized payload for trains is 10% higher than for road transport. 
the centralized command post. This is the control tower supervising the operations of the two rail motorway platforms and the four rail tracks of the combined terminal. From here, instructions are given to the crane drivers loading the ITU on the trains. Also from here, the pockets of the rail motorway wagons are activated for loading and unloading the trains. The combined terminal. It contains four rail tracks of 700 meters and two gantry cranes moving along the rail tracks to handle the ITUs. The cranes are 20 meters high. The operator cabin is located at a height of 12 meters. Each gantry crane can lift containers with the twist lock system, which consists of bolts that engage into the four corner fittings of the container structure. The maximum weight allowed for lifting the twist lock system is 41 tons. Each crane can also use spreaders to lift craneable semi-trailers. These trailers are equipped with two yellow plates on each side. The spreaders grab the semi-trailers exactly on these yellow plates. The spreaders can also be used to lift swap bodies. The maximum weight allowed for lifting with the spreader system is 45 tons. The reach stacker is used to support the gantry cranes. This impressive vehicle has the same lifting systems as the gantry cranes, twist lock and spreaders. The reach stacker can move containers in terminal zones that are outside the reach of the gantry cranes. Three crane operators work at the terminal 24-7 and can process up to eight full trains of 700 meters per day. This represents a capacity of 300,000 handlings per year. In addition, the terminal has a total storage capacity of 2,250 containers, which can be expanded to 3,500 containers in the future. The old terminal will be progressively converted into a secure truck stop, Centre Routier Sécurisé, for the truck drivers of the terminal and the logistics park. The new intermodal terminal bedenberg dudelange is a public terminal, which means that its prices are public and the terminal can be accessed by any operator requesting it. The terminal is ideally located at the heart of Europe, at the crossroads of the main north-south and east-west transport routes, with links to the big ports of the North Sea, the Baltic Sea, and Southern Europe.